Steve Mielhausen here at UFC on Fox 2. We're here with Miguel Angel Torres. Miguel, I just saw you do some stuff with kids. How, I know it's really important to you. How important is it for you to do it this week? Um, I think it's really important. You know, UFC's in Chicago. They're in my hometown. And, uh, you know, they wanted me to come on and talk to some kids. You know, I, I work with a lot of kids. I have my gym. I have about 100 kids that are students of mine, kids are teenagers. And uh, you know, I'm comfortable teaching class. I'm, I'm comfortable instructing kids. And uh, you know, they were teenagers. They weren't. They weren't little kids. And it was pretty much. It was. It was easy. I saw some of them look taller than you. Uh, well, <laughs> I suspect it's what they eat. It's the hormones they put in the meat. You know, I think it's all that McDonald's they be eating. You don't have McDonald's? Yeah, I do. But I'm past my growing my growing phase already. Favorite thing from McDonald's? Double cheeseburger meal, extra large Coke, extra large fries. You're my type of guy, my friend. It's a lot of salt though. And hot Cheetos. You and those Cheetos. Flaming Hots? Has to be Flaming Hots, extra spicy, extra hot. Welcome back to the UFC. I saw you, I think we talked about two months ago, almost two months ago now, we saw each other at a local show, and you still weren't sure yet on what was going to happen, and then everything happened at UFC 141. How gratifying was it for you to finally be back in the UFC? Uh, you know, it was a blessing. You know, I had no idea what was going to happen with my future in fighting, and, uh, you know, Dana, you know, uh, got, he met with me finally, and we got to talk, and... You know, he was happy to hear what I was doing. He was very impressed. And, uh, you know, luckily he took me back that same day. I got back in and, you know, my only thought now is my next fight. You know, I remember me and you were talking and I remember you were wanting to face Michael McDonald. That was the guy you kind of seemed like that was going to be the best opponent for you. Why Michael McDonald? Um, you know, I think out of everybody right now, 135, he's the one that's available that has the biggest name. And, uh, you know, every step, every fight that I take, I want to get another shot, another, another step close to taking a shot at the title. And uh, out of all the guys that are available, he was the only one that's available. So I'm, I'm looking to uh, go out there and put on a good fight for these guys. How are you going to split your time in camp? Are you going to differentiate it or is it going to be half and half at each camp? Um, I'm going to spend two or three weeks with the Black Zins in Florida. I'm going to leave uh, the 1st of February, and then the rest of my time I'll be up in Montreal. What do they do differently than they do with Faraz Sahabi? Um, actually, they're pretty much very similar, you know. Uh, the one difference I can say is, is that they do more cardio, more cardio work in uh, Florida, and uh, they focus a, a lot on wrestling. Both camps train a lot of wrestling, but uh, with, with uh, Van Arsdale, he drills a lot of wrestling. And uh, the only difference is the size of training partners, you know, sparring partners. In, Mont or in Montreal, I have a ton of guys my size. Uh, Eamon, Louis, Ivan, you know, all those guys, Tiger, Eves, all those guys up there are my size. And in uh, Florida, I have uh, Gessius, I got Jay-Z, I got Marcus Aurelio, I got all those guys. Fabio Mello, they're a little bit bigger. A little bit harder to spar against. I got to walk around on 165, 170. Uh -oh. But it's good, though. It's good training. Now, let's talk about a little a topic for debate that's been going on regarding the fighter pay. What do you make of that fighter pay situation? Um, it is what it is. You know, they take care of me very well. Um, I'm able to pay my bills. And, uh, you know, fighters are always going to want more. They're always going to want, you know, something, something more. But I think, uh, you know, if I was anywhere else, I wouldn't be getting taken care of the way I am now. Why do you think the fighters are griping about it? You know, because it seemed like it really wasn't an issue. And then as soon as the story came out on ESPN, it was like, oh, my God, you didn't hear fighters. And then they're saying, oh, they're not revealing their names. Why do you think if you're a fighter, if you want to get out there, get out there. You know, everyone's like, oh, we're afraid we're going to get in trouble. If someone came up and asked you that question, what would you say to them? I tell them that I'm happy. I'm getting taken care of. I'm getting paid, man. I'm making, I'm making money doing what I love. I can't complain. Let's talk about a couple of the fights here. Let's talk about the three main fights here on Fox. What do you make of the Michael Bisping fight with Chael Sonnen? Because that's the fight now that a lot of people are talking about the most instead of the main event. I think uh, Chael's going to smash Michael Bisping. I think he's going to go out there, punch him in the face, take him down, and, and smash him. Weidman, Maya. That's going to be a tough fight for Maya. You know, uh, Weidman's very tough. But, uh, you know, I got to go with my jiu-jitsu instincts, my jiu-jitsu blood. And I think Damien's going to pull it out. Now let's talk about the main event, Rashad Evans, Phil Davis. I know Rashad's a good buddy of yours. How do you see that fight going? Do you think Phil Davis has enough experience to beat Rashad Evans? You know, the experience factor is huge on Rashad's favor. Um, Davis is a great wrestler, but so is Rashad. Rashad has the better hands. So I'm going to go to Rashad 100%. Now how do you see your fight playing out in April against Michael McDonald? Um, I think Michael's going to come out hard. I think he's going to come out very aggressive. And uh, that's going to be a stand-up fight. You know, I don't think we're going to try to go. I'm not going to try to shoot on him. I unless I hurt him, I don't think he's going to try to shoot on me. I think we're going to go out and so we're going to get, we're going to go out there gunsling. Miguel, thank you so much. Thank you guys very much.